Hello friends, how are we all? It is the fourth, no, it's the third of July, which is not a holiday, so I don't know why I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi guys, you would think that I'm going crazy because I am. No reason, I'm just in a mood, but we're gonna sit down today and do one of my kind of like mini hauls of new sunscreens because sometimes I just don't wanna give each of these sunscreens the dedicated video that it may not deserve. <laughs> so I'm gonna be putting them all on my face because I always do that. I find that to be super useful and I hope you do too. But instead of a full face of it, I'm gonna do a third, I was gonna say a quarter, a third. So I'll be doing one cheek with one, one cheek with another, and then my forehead with a third. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump on in, we're gonna get going, and I am going to talk you through each of these three sunscreens. So if you're not already subscribed, do so below, and then like it, or like it and then subscribe. You can do it in either way, I don't care. Um, just make sure you do both, <laughs> and I will get going. Whoa, we're zoomed in close. See, the way that I do my channel is the things that used to drive me the most crazy about other channels, I try not to do. So people would always, and I still watch videos of um, creators who are like applying makeup and they're like back here. <laughs> like, I'm like, I need to see what it looks like on your skin, please. And then others also will talk about a product like a sunscreen and never apply it. And I'm like, what are you doing? You have a face, put it on your face. It's more work, but you know, put it on your face. Okay. I can tell this is gonna be chatty, so I apologize if you don't wanna see chatty, but that's what it is. So, the I, I already started squirting out one and I haven't even told you what we're talking about today. So this is just gonna sit here. But we have three sunscreens. This is one, this is the Covey, Covey? I don't know how to pronounce it and I'm not gonna look it up because I'm lazy. And this is the one kind. And then we have the RMS um, Beauty one. I'll get it out of its package. Okay, I promise that I did not go with like a theme of colors for this video, but they all are this really kind of nice brown beige theme. But, you know, that's where we're at. So the first one that I'm gonna be putting on, cause I already squirted it onto my finger, is the Kobe. And what I'm gonna be doing, this is probably still too much, just because I think about a finger length for a third, it's probably a little bit too much, but that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna apply this, I'll talk you through the specs, and then we'll go on to the next one. Okay, so this is the Sun and Done Moisturizing SPF 50 from Kobe, and it says it's zero dollars when you're looking at the website, but I don't think that's true. <laughs> no, it's $34. So they say that this is sun protection, moisture, and antioxidant boost. Just one step and you're sun and done. Our powerful SPF 50 broad spectrum protection that blends in seamlessly, leaving no white cast on all skin tones. Well, you know, people say that and I, I don't always believe it, but we'll see. They have a whole thing of free from, which is kind of one of my least favorite things where it's like free from synthetic dyes, free from fragrance, free from chemical sunscreen, free from parabens. Like I don't like that, but we'll move on. <laughs> this one has 12% non nano zinc oxide. It also has beta octal salicylate. So if you're wondering why it rubs in so nicely and doesn't look like it has a white cast, it would be the butyl octal salicylate. So if you are sensitive to that, it is kind of, I say an unregulated, that makes it sound worse than it is, but basically it's an SPF booster. So it kind of acts as an active ingredient as an SPF filter and brands, tons and tons of brands use it. And it allows them to say that it's a mineral sunscreen, but it's actually not. And then you get the cast that is very minimal and looks like this. So I don't mind it personally, but I know lots of people are sensitive to it or it just irritates their skin or they don't like the greenwashing. So, you know, just keep that in mind with this one. All right, the next one that I'm gonna be putting on my face is this One Kind Solar Drops. So this one should be a little bit more fluid, so it should be easier to do kind of a one finger length. Ooh. Probably still a lot, but you yeah, know, I'm being generous today. So this is the One Kind Solar Drops SPF 55 Daily Broad Spectrum Serum. This is not cheap. It retails for $48 and comes in only one fluid ounce. I forgot to mention that the Kobe is 1.5 fluid ounces or 45 milliliters. 
So it's closer to your normal amount for less. The one kind is quite expensive for only one fluid ounce. What do they say about this? They say it's a universally flattering, lightweight SPF 55 serum that protects, brightens, and hydrates while leaving you radiant. It has 24.5% non-nano zinc oxide, which is a lot. I'm pretty impressed by that. And then it also has sea buckthorn extract, squalane, which is very popular these days, prickly pear extract, and guess what? No butyl salicylate. In terms of our kind of like the finish for this one, this one definitely feels a bit more oily. There are more oils in it than the Kobe one. This one also has a scent to it. I think it's from essential oils. I'm smelling off my face. It smells really pleasant and very light, but it does have a scent. The Kobe one doesn't smell like anything like in terms of like a, an essential oil or anything, but it smells more like a kind of nasty plastic. My friend Libby actually mentioned that, and so I was kind of on the lookout for that. It definitely doesn't smell fresh or like fragranced, but for me, it's not super overpowering and I don't smell it on my face, but it does kind of smell not really like that pleasant. So in terms of smell, we have a little bit of a smell from both, very different in kind of um, aromas though. And also looking at the tint, so this one is 100% pure mineral, the one kind. This one kind of technically is the Kobe, is a hybrid. So they both actually have a pretty similar cast. I don't necessarily think either one has really like a stronger tint or cast to it. I think that with the one kind, you get a little bit more radiance from it. It's definitely got more oils in it. And then the Kobe side, it's not necessarily matte, but it does kind of dry down to the touch a little bit more. This side just feels a, a lot more moisturized. So if you do have drier skin, I think the one kind is gonna be a much better fit for you. If you have more normal or oily or combo, the Kobe might be better. Also, if you do have deeper or medium skin, you might have more of a cast than I do. I wouldn't say that these are universal and no cast at all. They have a slight cast, but it is minimal and it's not some of the worst casts I've seen. Okay, and now the fun comes in. This is the RMS Supernatural Radiance Serum. I should shake and then we'll apply. I'm gonna do a thin layer just because I have some experiences with this one, but here we go. Okay, so this is from RMS Beauty, and this is the Supernatural Radiance Serum Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. Retails for $48, and you get one fluid ounce. So again, it's like the one kind, just a little bit of sunscreen, not a lot. This comes in three shades. I have the middle shade, which is medium aura. They also have a light aura and a rich aura. I got the wrong shade and I think I am going to try to exchange this because this just doesn't work for me. You can just see like, I think this is really good at highlighting the difference in, I mean, it maybe matches when I, my body, when it's tanned, but this could only work for me a little bit, like a few months out of the year. But also my main issue with it is that I just can't use the full amount. Like I didn't use the teaspoon, but when I did in my reel, and I will see if I can link that reel below in the description, I, I could do like one thin layer and that was it. Now I'm probably getting good protection or a decent amount of protection, but I use a quarter of a teaspoon because skin cancer runs in my family and also I have some premature aging from being in the sun too much when I was younger. So that's why I choose to use the full amount that is recommended. Okay, but back to this sunscreen. So this has 20.4% zinc oxide, but it does not have butyl salicylate, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, these days it comes in everything. And what they say about this is, it's a tinted, skin nourishing, mineral-based daily sunscreen serum and soft focus, radiant complexion corrector with natural looking elimination and SPF 30. Okay. So this one really, really, really to me operates like a makeup. I think it's lovely. I think the finish is really pretty. You do have this radiance to your skin, but it doesn't feel too, too greasy. I mean, you definitely have a bit of like moisture to it. So if you have dry skin, it could work, but it doesn't feel overly so. It doesn't feel like it's gonna move around my face too, too much. And you could also just powder. Is that a zit? No. <laughs> um, you could powder a little bit. But this would be a really good kind of one and done makeup slash sunscreen if you like that kind of effect, which I do personally. This is just not the shade for me. And like I said in my reel, and like I just said before, it's not necessarily, I mean, yes, I got the wrong shade, that's one thing, but I find that this product is, I'm gonna have to look at it like makeup. I'm gonna have to put it on over top of another layer of sunscreen and then just do kind of a very thin layer because if I put on the full quarter of a teaspoon, I'm gonna have so much coverage, I'm gonna hate it, I would never wear that. So. 
that's kind of my issue with it. It's not really that it's like a bad sunscreen. It's just not how I apply it. And I know plenty of people out there are going to apply just a little bit and that's gonna be fine. But for me, that doesn't really work. So those are our three sunscreens. Oh, also the RMS one doesn't really have a scent to it. None of these have stung my eyes. Most mineral-based ones don't, but sometimes I will get a little sting from maybe like the Kobe one if it has beta-lactyl salicylate, but I have not experienced that with any three of them. And like I said, the scents on the two, the one kind and the Kobe are minimal and they do kind of blend in over time. So it's not overly powerful. I don't know what sunscreen has an overly powerful scent now that I think about it, but maybe some do. So these are three new ones that are out. If you asked me to just recommend one out of these three, I think it would be the one kind. It's still quite expensive. They're all pretty expensive and you only get one fluid ounce. So you would go through this pretty quickly, but it does, it leaves a really nice finish. I would just need a little bit of makeup on overneath. I think especially in the warmer months where I am tanner, but it could really do the job and I wouldn't have to use much to make it work. So are these three my favorite of all time? Absolutely not. Will I be reaching for them every day? Probably not either, but I think they would work, especially if you tend to have drier skin. I think a lot of these are gonna work for you. Maybe not the RMS as much because it does kind of dry down. Same with the Kobe. So maybe only the one kind, <laughs> but yes, I think that's all I have to say. I feel like I am out of breath again, and that's just the story of my life, but I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.